Hi, welcome to Cat Dad Gaming. Welcome back to the quarry. Today we're playing chapter two. Uh, let's see if everybody dies, because I'm pretty bad for choices in games, so yeah. Right, let's jump on the game. So here we are, stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail, or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? Little extreme. <laughs> First course, filet au Jacob. Oh, well, you're not Rich wrong. Rich and full body, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Well, what? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? <laughs> Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Ah, so it's a little bit from the last video I have to keep. Kicked up. There we go! I'm not kicking the door. Yeah. That's destruction Viola. property. <laughs> Your hair clip, madam. Yeah, you can keep it. Bonjour. It's not too shabby, huh? Yeah. So that's pretty good. It means I have a hairpin later for the game. Uh, playful, sarcastic. Well, you seem like a sarcastic kind of lady. Took you long enough. Well, I got it open, didn't I? And I feel like you need it's to break okay. it off. It's not a race. Let's be mean. Okay. So. But like, this dude's got it bad and he, ne he needs to know it's over, like, properly. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Yep. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? Live it lame. Sorry, dude. It's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna <laughs> go over here. I'm just gonna go over here. Yeah, that's fine. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. Interesting. I was wondering where they can get booze from because like they don't have a car so there must be an on-site uh, store. Ooh. I think it's locked. Interesting. Why don't you mess with the safe? Are you I like... don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> They're not gonna keep beer in the safe. The only thing's gonna be is like oh. money. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh, check out my giant melons. Oh. See? I thought you were going to be making you just cut vodka melon. Mm -hmm. You pour in your vodka. There we go. It's party time. You party just, time. You pour the vodka right in it. Yep. yep. It's the most fun you could have with a hole in a watermelon. Or, well, second most. Um. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. Right, that was a good reply. <laughs> yeah, vodka jelly uh, is better than vodka melon, I think. Same principle. Vodka plus item. Oh, that did make me jump for a second. Alright. So. Let's look for tarot cards and anything shiny, really. Yeah, this Emma lady, I haven't really been fond of her, but like... Doesn't seem awful. Like some of the people are a little bit like lame and a bit annoying, but none of them have been like, you know, I hate you with the depths of my soul kind of people. What we got? The harem scarum. Harem scarum. Good name. It's all coming together. I found a matching clue. Okay. Whatever these posters are doing, Chris Hackett's possession. He must have forgotten to take this one down. Interesting. These flyers are promoting a travelling show called Harem Scarum. Date listed, listed indicates that it took place over six years ago. These are the same as the posters in the woods. Why does Chris Hackett have them? Was he connected to them in some way? Oh yeah. So... I was thinking that there, in the first step that I said like maybe there's like a descendant line of people. Which could be Mr. Hackett. You know, he could be descendant from, like, um, 
people. But uh, I was thinking more like those hillbillies at the end of the last episode um, who were like covered in blood. They, they're probably more likely to be like, you know, circus people. Um, what am I looking for then? Some sort of key? Ooh. Surprise this crap. I mean, that looks cute. I like that. So, <laughs> I probably wouldn't buy it, but I, uh... Oh! Wouldn't say no if I was given that as a gift. Ah, uh, that was a blood dude. Right, guy covered in blood. Well, that was the hillbilly, the hunting season guy. Yeah. Uh, I don't feel safe at all. Oh, there's a shiny. Uh, let's explore the rest of this before going into a cage. Don't feel safe exactly going into an enclosed location with like bars and stuff. This doesn't scream like a good plan. What's this? Toilet? Staff only. I wonder where this goes. Are we to the staff room? <sighs> Locked. Kick it open. Kick door called Jacob. Uh, well, Jacob did successfully open the last door. Oh, Jacob! Jacob! Come check this out! Although I probably shouldn't have shouted loudly with a murderer outside. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alrighty then. Door, buckle up because you are about to meet your maker. Sure. I really hope he can. Done. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Whoa. Good job, dude. Whoa. I also think that you could like hide in here and close the door. Good guy, Miss Molly. No wonder I kept this place locked up. <laughs> I think he'll be pissed when we made a stash. Oh yeah. What? No. I mean he left us stranded here. It's like um <clears throat> <laughs> tough shit. Human rights or whatever. Sure. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Uh, the door will latch. Alright. That means oh. we can actually hide in here, maybe. Hell yeah! In and out. Job done. Boom! I wanna look around. Go for it. Oh, the door, dude? Okay. Yeah, because this door can now close and latch, but if we'd kick the door open, there would be, like, no hiding places. I don't know if we're, like, meant to, like, think about that. It just popped up. Something from the other side, maybe? Ah. Oh, cool. What? Shotgun. What is it? Seven seven three nine. Oh, cool. And That's probably a code the for the safe. Code. Seven seven three nine. Oh no 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 wait. Um. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> That's like some Resident Evil kind of cool. Uh. At the end of the first video, there was that slow-mo, uh, and the tarot card, yeah. And the tarot card showed me a video, yeah, let's replay the video, and the replay, oh, this is much clearer. Open safe, take cop shotgun shells. Oh, that's much clearer. She takes shotgun shells, then we have the gun, and then we shoot werewolf or something. Right, cause... Uh, because the video before made it look like you opened a box of shotgun shells and they exploded in his face. <laughs> but it does have Jacob, delayed gratification. Check this out. What? I can't move or else the it's door interesting. will interesting. look like camping supplies. Oh, okay, um, <laughs> there's tents back at the fire pit, so just, let's, let's go. Evidence, torn bags. Torn hiking bags, dashed with flecks of dried blood. Okay. Did a bear do this? Nah. That's some hillbillies or the... Whatever's going down. Alright. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Well, thank you. Thank you, good sir. So you're, uh... You're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah. 
for the bears. bears. Weird choice to keep okay. the gun. Uh, well, I am going to find something to haul this lot back to camp. There's been no indicator that you should keep the gun so far. Like, if something spooky had happened and then you decide to keep the gun, I'd be like, yeah, okay, cool. But yeah, you've literally just found a gun and stolen it. Um, which doesn't seem very cool. Yeah, who just steals a gun? <laughs> and I do think the wooden bears are cute. <laughs> I'd buy one, I've decided. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, that guy in the corner got me again. Alright, let's do this safe. Alright. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Oh, you remember the code for me. Excellent. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> Um, what else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. W oh, fireworks? fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should. No, 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 Emma. <laughs> fireworks? Fireworks. I don't know. We've already taken the shotgun shells and the gun. Uh, take fireworks. The only thing I'm thinking is like, if you take the fireworks, we might be able to be saved with them. But it's also one of those flip sides of if you don't take the fireworks, you might be able to survive later because you're stuck in here with the fireworks. Um, okay. Live in the moment. Stay the fireworks. You know, you're right. Fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 hell yeah. Fireworks. Oh, um, Ask my and might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob seems excited. Yeah, hey, of course he does. I found these, like, torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. Ah, uh, blood. Uh, you know, ignore uh, the blood. Oh, dude! Peanut butter butter pops! Dude, I'm trying to tell you something dude, serious. Peanut butter no. fucking butter pops! <laughs> what are butter pops? Yeah, I don't know, but I like peanut butter. What are butter pops? <laughs> No. What? I can't believe it. Um. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Let me guess. How old? Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. <laughs> pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. Oh my God! They're like the greatest snack of all time. All right. What if are you, they? Uh, are they if like you popcorn? Insist. What? No. 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 They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing. Like their own subgenre of food snack. You've explained nothing you know to me. I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait, is there an expiration <laughs> date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Yeah. Oh my god, 1998. Like okay. okay, yeah. Look, they predate expiration dates. Blah. Well, you're gonna love them. Blah. Blah. Oh. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. All right. Uh, Smart. I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure oh, butts. or buds. <laughs> no, That's fair. before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it. Do you know, know what a wheelbarrow around. is? Oh, I see. Or did you miss the Wii? <sighs> Ladies first. Mm, yeah. But the, but the bags with the blood, Which don't one? just... Just because some dude dances with popcorn, you don't just suddenly ignore the blood-covered bags. You like go, oh, cool, cool popcorn, cool, cool, cool tangent. Then you go back to look at the bags. These people. You're all gonna die, and I'm probably gonna be responsible for half your deaths. All right. The inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> yeah, if you yeah, say let's so. Just make this quick. Sure. Just give me a sec to get this going. Well, I was just thinking the fireworks are probably going to attract everybody. And might have been a engage. bad choice. Podcasts. Yeah. Podcasts are All cool. Right. <laughs> uh, dismissive. No, podcasts are cool. Uh, what's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? Uh, Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Bizarre Yet Bonafide. So like ghosts and stuff? It's like, um, yeah, like the the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, 
bona fide. I mean, probably not, but the podcast sounds cool. Boner, fine. Ugh. Get it? Boner. <laughs> what are you, like, 12? Your wit knows no bounds. <laughs> so, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. Hmm. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? Um... <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. Is he? Always been cool to me. Yeah, I don't want to go through his stuff. He was disappointed in me for eavesdropping. It's like... You know, I don't want to disappoint him again. Where we go? Can't you, like, speed it up at all? Phone charges. I can try to encourage them. Go for it! You guys can do it! It's not working. It's not working. It's, we're gonna have to wait. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that made me laugh. Summer camp table. Art class, bike rides, sports, library, driving lessons. This actually sounds like a fun place. Like, if you're not forced into going and you have choice to go yourself, I think this place would be pretty good. Whoa, look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. It's not very Why? Dead. I want your number. <laughs> uh, yes, Flip. Uh, so that I can ask you out on a date. Mmm, uh, smooth. I think if I tried a cell phone number on this <laughs> thing, it would just hey. explode. Though. Hello? What? What? Ghost stuff. Who is it? Ooh. Uh, hello. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that's weird. I thought I heard someone. Yeah. Maybe you should have asked them out on a date. Damn it, I missed my shot. Eh. I wonder if that happens again. I'm guessing that's the hag. Let's look at your family photo. A younger looking camp leader, Chris Hackett, with his two kids, Caleb and Kaylee. Ooh. Never left there. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Okay. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, <laughs> they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Yeah, I like reclusive. What we got? It's our raccoon. Hey, what's the gun for? Oh, a gun. Uh, Chris. Mr. H told me it was for um, bears. 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 And shit. Here. Yeah, yeah. He said they don't really come around because he's got the gun. To... Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Hmm. Yeah, leave the gun alone. I was uh like last year. Well, maybe maybe longer. I was driving home from, it was like a, a night shift, I was thinking at the time. It must have been really late, like 3 or 4 a.m. or something. And it's really foggy and it's really dark. And out of the mist, I just see this like huge shadow of like a four-legged thing that was like, I don't know, probably the size of the car, maybe a bit bigger. And then there was another one next to it that was like the size of a small dog. Small dog? A large dog next to it. And uh, I just saw the shadow in the mist and then just reversed slowly away and to like, you know, but to this day, I don't know what it was. It was either a bear with a kid or a deer or like a moose probably. But whatever it was, it was big and I was like, nah, I'm not getting near that. So yeah, shotgun for bears. <laughs> I'm on board. Uh, serious, what if we need it? They thought, what if bears crashed a party? <laughs> um, oh, I don't, I don't, like guns mean people die by accident. Like you shoot people, uh, let's just play. play Dude, for. we're going to be out partying in the woods tonight. All right, what if the bears try to crash? <laughs> okay, it's it's like my mom always said, if you want to party, you got to bring protection. <laughs> well, I think that Good line. she was talking about condoms. I'm not going to fuck a bear. <laughs> the most dangerous thing I've seen in these woods is a pissed off squirrel. That He's not scary. talking about that kind of bear. Okay, fine. <laughs> well, we know where the gun is if we need it. Uh, yeah, we're shadow home. man. All right, he doesn't want a gun. We're not taking the gun. Like, guns are scary. You don't need a gun for no reason. Ooh, trap door. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Well, hello. What is this? What is this? You hear that? 
like a loose floorboard or like an actual trapdoor? Is that a trapdoor? <laughs> yeah, an oubliette. Secret sex dungeon. Yes, it goes to the <laughs> basement. Uh, I knew that there was a secret sex dungeon around here somewhere. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet you Mr. H is into some real kinky shit. Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> Weren't there a couple of counselors who never showed up? Oh, uh -huh. Max and Laura. Yeah. She's secret probably uh, still alive because she got dungeon. injected. Yeah, it's not funny. It probably just goes to the basement <laughs> or something. Open it up. Oh. Alright, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so. You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, nah, you can squeeze nah, it. Back. Nah. You opened it, you climb down. Oh no, no. Um so I think the Laura lady, she's probably still alive because she got injected. Max's probably dead because he got bit and then the guy pew pew. Um oh, this is a horror game, you're probably gonna die if you do stuff, but like I wanna know. Let's calm down. Maybe it's a bad idea because I don't have a light. Um, and, and, <laughs> you know, in horror movies, you always go into the basement and you come out fine. What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What? What? Six what? Dungeon. It's nothing. <laughs> Lame. I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. Maybe. Just shut up. <laughs> yeah, shut up, dude. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Leave, like, immediately? Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. Okay. Oh. Oh. So it looks like that ladder has, like, one life, and I've just Ooh, used it. That's a nice chair. I could get used to this. Ooh. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> I hope I remember the ladder in the future. You never know. Come on, he's not good now. Okay, just be careful. Yeah. What do you think I'm gonna do? Break it? Come on. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Don't break the chair, come on. That's a design flaw. Actually, if the chair does tip over unnaturally easily, that would be a design flaw. Especially in a chair that's designed to recline, you know. Oh, spooky music. What does spooky sounds mean? Oh. Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Hmm. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Let's look at the clue. Counselor's Ledger. Chapter 2, Chris Hackett's office. List of the counselor's names, personal details, and their tasks at camp. Two names are crossed out. Laura Keeney and Mix. Mix? Max Brindley. Why didn't they show up? Keep you. I wonder if you actually... Oh, yeah. I'm wondering if he killed Max. Um... Otherwise, there's probably a werewolf on the loose. Or a second werewolf. I don't know. <laughs> Multiple. Alright, let's try this phone one last time. Cool. Yeah, I think these people have, like, really short memories, because, like... The, something happens, and then they just, like, gloss over it a second as soon as they're distracted. And I get that. But like with ADHD, you always loop back around, you know, to the thing. Come on. So, got anything going on when you get back home? School or? Uh, your story's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Girlfriend? Uh. Boyfriend? Not exactly. Boyfriend? Boyfriend? <laughs> Smooth. Free agent. Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. <laughs> Are the uh, phones... Uh, they could probably use a little while longer. Ah. Okay. 
bit better. <laughs> All right. Where's my task? Look around Chris's office. Yeah, I did that though, didn't I? Uh oh, this door. <laughs> okay. There's been yeah, many a game. Pass me the keys. Uh, I've got stuck so you in can just poke around in it's Chris's a private area. I, I'm sorry. Is that totally. something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. <laughs> Come on. What's the harm in looking? It's you're not a little bit curious. I'm not going to touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but. Hey. Nothing but net. <laughs> Always catch the keys because we're no cool. Wrong. Nothing but net. I mean, I think that works, right? Huh. Oh, that is a weird camera angle. It's what's Fashion this? icon. <laughs> Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo, what is this? Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... <gasps> secret basement. Guy's got two secret basements. Uh, Brian. Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. What? Although oh, it makes sense having some sort of security. Spying on us? No, no. But yeah, totally. No, no, he can't be. These the are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids. Okay, that's fair. They fake. wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like uh, Bigfoot <laughs> sightings, you know, that kind of thing. All right. I didn't know that Mr. H was into that kind of stuff. Shit, maybe he likes that podcast that you listen to. Secret hobby, I guess. Maybe. Expensive hobby. Mm. Yeah, well, I mean, what else are you going to do out here? Yeah, I guess camp probably does get pretty lonely when there's no one else around. Yeah. Yeah, none of the cameras okay, were pointing at the houses why there. go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, That's a very good question. I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by... Stuff that's secret, that's a secret, yeah. That's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird, it's majorly <laughs> yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but it, it's it's gotta be something juicy in here, Dylan. It's okay. it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure, that won't be an awkward conversation. Like, hey, I all. broke into your secret okay, basement, yeah. Maybe I will. All right, <laughs> I, I'm leaving the secret layer. Have fun. Hey, nah. you just admitted that it's a secret layer, yeah. You did, uh. So weird. Like, yeah, he's clearly not spying on people. Oh, I can look around. What was that? Oh, oh no, no, spooky man. Who knew where the camera was? Probably nothing. I guess it was the wind. Let's have an explore. Huh. Max Brinley. Well, all these. Replace scrapyard camera. Zip line. Check family back left camera. Oh. No, 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 no. Let's go back in. Go back in. Oh, well, I guess the phones are charged. But I want to explore one more time. No, 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 no. Camera's so weird. There's got to be something over here, right? Cabins. I just want to look at the... I just want to look at the sticky notes. The post-its. Probably tell me something. Like, check on family. And like these cameras on the wall, like, that's not anything. 
I wasn't gonna like look at the tapes on the wall. Ooh, guitar. It's out of tune. Good stuff. Okay. Is that it? That's the guitar. I mean, I'm not expecting like shady stuff in his bedroom, but like. No, I was expecting more than just the guitar. Let me guess. Well, there's some pretty heavy duty stuff in here. Yeah, oh, someone's behind you. Touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun. <laughs> nothing fun. Someone was definitely behind you. Where did you go, Ryan? Where did you go? Hey right there. I really hope that was be you behind me in the bathroom, because that was a bit weird. Otherwise, it's the creepy, uh, forest dude. Nice. Full up. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Would you have some, like, last lightning charges or something? You're, like, like, sprung for five minutes. Come on. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool. Let's go. Stop throwing phones! Oh, my dude. Come on. Thank you. It'd be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. <laughs> yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? You're the obnoxious one so yeah. far. <laughs> they always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. <laughs> yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Mm hmm. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? Fair enough. Shady Glade, Rocky Road. <laughs> I mean, Shady Glade sounds so much nicer than Rocky Road. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna pick Rocky Road. Good choice. Better sticks. Is it? Way. Better sticks? <laughs> yeah. They're like burning or whatever. Yeah, cool. Cool. Yeah, it's like left path. The nice. Think cool. we've got enough? Shady area. Right path. Out of doom. Uh, not yet. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, what is my objective this time? Collect firewood. Okay. I keep alt tabbing out and I think the game doesn't like it. My bad. What's this? What? Or something. So this place was an actual quarry? Uh, yeah. Huh. Apparently some of the caves run pretty deep. It's like a honeycomb under there. Cool. That is cool. Except, uh... When you're trying to run away from like serial killers and stuff. <laughs> There's actually a quarry where I used to live, and um, it was like an abandoned quarry, and it basically got turned into like a local swimming area. But it was very dangerous, so they basically were like banning people because obviously, you know, they don't go swimming in dangerous areas. But the area is really pretty to go to. <laughs> Are you sure this is safe? What, are you scared? Hell no. Are you? No. We got a canyon. Or... Oh, oh, let's go right. Sorry, I don't know about my accent. Aussie or New Zealander? It's like, to me, they're, they're pretty much too similar to like tell. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Alright, I would not be doing this in real life. I don't want like, that scene from Midsummer um, to happen. <laughs> you see Midsummer, you know what I'm talking about. But, uh, that's a good movie. I like Midsummer. 
Uh, if you want a good horror movie, check out Hereditary or Midsummer. I'd say Hereditary is a bit like it's all right. Calm uh, down. A bit more of a uh, movie experience, but Hereditary is uh, it's out there. I got turned around. I think. Yeah, I wouldn't be going this way. Loose rocks, danger, and then like rocks actually falling. Well, I don't know, maybe if I was young and there was a girl saying it's cool, then I, I might have... You know, <laughs> everyone's young and dumb at one point in their lives. So... Is this going to be useful later to like, kill a monster, or as a don't go this way later? That's the problem with a lot of these setups. Like... I have no idea if they're so like, avoid or go to. What's next? Like, after we die? It's heavy, man. No, I mean like the future. Yeah. Nice session. Sometimes. All the time. It's so overwhelming. Hmm. I know what you mean. Sometimes I just try to like let it happen, you know? What? Go with the flow. Like whatever happens is what was meant to happen. Like it's all predetermined. Fate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> pedantic. No, you're not going to be pedantic. We're just going to turn. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure we're supposed to know. Yeah. Fate just seems so convenient. Mm. How so? Because if it's no all choice. predetermined and you do something terrible, then you have the excuse of saying, well, it wasn't me, it, it was food. wasn't really me because everything's been pre planned and then I'm not really in control of my actions, am I? I never really thought about it like that before. That, though, totally. I mean, well, it's it's totally okay if you believe that. Yeah, no. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, no, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I haven't really been looking for stuff. Um, this way? No? Well, I hope I'm not chased somewhere around here. It looks like I should be able to walk around here. Are you not gonna let me? Oh, you are cool. This is a nice little uh, little walk. I'll keep driving till the end, till my I mean, you guys don't even have like a thing to put the wood in. You're literally just collecting a handful of sticks. Oh, I know where we are. Yeah. Up here. Here, hold these. Oh, that is nice. Take a camera. Take a photo shot. Are you going to draw it? All right. This view is just wow. Uh. <laughs> yeah, he's just like oh, I don't know what to do now. Playful do me. No, I'm gonna be sincere because they were a pretty good uh, artists. Damn, Abby, you're really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. Hmm. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course, I just. Don't know what. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, everyone kind of comes across as like a little bit of a dick, but then they kind of become redeeming. It's kind of like they're fluctuating between likable and dislikable. Um, that's good. <laughs> Did you hear that? Huh? It's gonna be a boar or something. It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. Where are you going? Yeah, it's a little boar, baby. Oh, look! You're a big lip. It's so tiny. I would get out of there, though. Like, boars are vicious. Oh my like. god, he's so cute. 
I mean, a bear, a bear is dangerous. But I've seen enough videos of people shouting at bears while asking them politely to leave. Hold on. But boars, I'm Hold on. pretty sure that boar doesn't give a shit. Say, Babby. <laughs> Safety tip. Don't breathe. Uh, okay. You're in danger. Hunted by a creature of indeterminate origin. <laughs> Don't breathe. You need to stop breathing. Oh. Tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting them which is already dead? Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. Okay. When the danger has passed, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. So don't breathe. Be warned. Breathe and then run. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry, causing serious That's why it's called the quarry. Okay, that's great. Double meanings. Release when safe. I don't know. Oh. I guess when it leaves, that's when it's safe. Oh no, no, no! Is that too early? <laughs> he ran behind her. Oh, come on, dude. Jeez. That was close. He almost just mowed me to death. Are you sure the boars are really dangerous though, right? Oh, little piggy hog. <laughs> <laughs> Pedantic. Oh no, we'll be cheerful. Haha, <laughs> cool, cool, cool. 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 for a good story to tell a pig husband. How do you know it was the mommy pig? Mm, I got a pretty good look. <laughs> Ew! I think she was coming on to me. <laughs> Smooth. Aww. Got yourself a little girlfriend. She wasn't that little. <laughs> All right. I didn't die, but I feel like that might have been a tutorial part, so I feel like it's probably. Uh... Well, I hope it's difficult to die that part. Guess we should head back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, that was a. Uh, I like that spit. I wouldn't like to be mauled by a boar. That'd be awful. Heck, it's quarry campfire pit. Now we can do one uh, section for every person, I guess, or every group. Finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. Yep. Oh, there was a fire here earlier. Uh take photograph. Well, I would take it like something like that, but what is going on with this shack? Like the area is nice, and then there's like this. Really, really shady looking shack, you know. Pretty sure hey, it's Caitlin. not up to code. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His Semi -true. eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Knock it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up. You know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. But they're in a secret room. Oh, you don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. But it was in a secret room. You're so, forgetting uh, that point. What's going on here? Everything ready? Weird light in the treehouse. Frustrated. Oh, come on, let's be honest. I, I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty Ooh, spooky. Very spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Ryan. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told hmm. you never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Are you done? Say it three times in the mirror. You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. <laughs> what mood? Nice. The mood, the vibe, you know. 
Speaking of setting the mood, <laughs> nice. I Sweet. have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but. All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. <laughs> Wording. Phrasing. Oh, I know what I said. <laughs> Abby, Nick, just in time. So we got the hag, we got werewolves. <laughs> We've already done that joke. Mm, Creepy guys in the camera. forest oh, and in the cameras. Need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. Thanks. I'm going to be serious. Uh, are you sure you guys are okay? Don't want to get bored to death. Bored? Yeah. We're okay. It wasn't a bullfight or anything. Though I think Nick did make a new girlfriend. <laughs> oh, do tell. Who put the fireworks on in the Special middle of the day? Delivery. Who puts fireworks on when it's daylight? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the hell did that gun come Dude, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. Found it in the I'm really, room. really off about that gun bit. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. All right, I like you more. And, and... Be more redeeming again. We bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to <laughs> what offer. What could go wrong? Alcohol, no teens, way. and guns. Yes, freaking like... way. <laughs> pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anyway. Oh, hey, hey. Nice. Cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Yeah, you, you got to share. Come on. Please hand me the shotgun. What, you're going to shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Nah. Absolutely not. No. Why would you be... Mocking, great idea, Stern. Not leaving you good, Stern. Okay, guns no and playing. Don't do play with guns. With gun. well, come on, look. The shooting range is like right over there. Okay, it'll be fun. Okay, okay. look. You and me, old-fashioned shootout. First prize, peanut butter butter pops, all to yourself. Like guns are serious. Don't mess around dude, with them. Come on, dude. I guess you don't really want them then, huh? Fine, you're on. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Dumbass. Jacob, hand me that gun now. Yeah, take the gun. Nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started take. here, Jacob. <laughs> okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. No. Please. Nah. All right. Yeah. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, good. Uh, we'll be good. I don't think I would trust them with a gun at all. Like, 100%. Just stand there awkwardly in the background, like, <laughs> noob. Okay, so, just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know mm. that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I Maybe. think I would know if okay, you'd actually... Okay, boys, I'm going to have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the yep. moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Yeah, 100%. Okay, good. I wouldn't even have that Now I'm going to go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. No, don't, don't leave the gun. Don't, don't do that. Like, <laughs> so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> so, um, how's your little one on one with Abby in the woods? Let's be honest. It was. <laughs> it was okay. Hey, out of boy. So, I mean, what happened? Come on, chill, dude. Well, we flirted a little. She's. Really smart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. That's it. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. No, 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 no. Hey, look. No sweat, okay? Mm. We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move Steve, before a real man swoops in. Speaking of, let me show you how mm -hmm. a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay, please, just yeah. give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. 
All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. So did they have a gun range? Or did shooting she... the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You okay. got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. Bam. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Obs. What does Q do? Oh, it's a uh, little video for combat. <laughs> I'm sorry are to have to say, there may well be times during your stay at Hackett's Quarry where you'll have to defend yourself <laughs> using potentially deadly force. I like these cartoons. When engaging in combat, vibes to him. simply aim your weapon and shoot where the flashlight is pointed. Shoot where the flashlight is pointed. Take note, if you're up close and personal with your target, you'll do more damage. Aye, aye. The farther away, the larger the spread, and injuries may not be fatal. Oh, There's so wait. There's a time and place for the use of weapons, Ooh, and you may well. want to consider all your options. Remember, it's not always wise to pull the trigger. That's how people get hurt. That's true. Ah, oh, so sometimes shoot, sometimes don't. Tricky, tricky. Like, in, uh... <laughs> Until Dawn, there was a bit where there was a squirrel and it was, like, the first time I played, it was like, aim if you want and shoot. And then I shot the squirrel and I re immediately regretted it. And then I think <laughs> I, like, immediately restarted the game because, you know, squirrel death is not cool. Uh... Flag. All right, Nick. One point. Yeah. Pew pew. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Okay. Thank you, good. Am I aiming for the All bottle? Right, Nick. This time for real. Okay. Okay. Let's go for the uh, bottle. Bam. Nice shot. Lucky. Oh yeah, lucky. <laughs> Although I can't just help but feel this is a waste of watermelon, you know. Like, can we just shoot bottles and eat watermelon? Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. I mean, I don't really care who wins this gun battle, but. All right. You <laughs> might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I'm gonna shoot up in the trees. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. I thought you were an ultra elite pro Mark. <laughs> yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, whoa, just like a whoa, 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 That is whoa. how you get someone shot. God. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. No. 100%. Ooh. What's that, Jakey? Huh? Huh? Pop, pop, pop. Peanut butter, butter. Hey, I get it. I get pop, it. Pop. Okay, okay. Blam! We thought this was over. <laughs> nice. All right. Pop pop peanut butter butter pops. <laughs> and I'm over. <laughs> okay, I really like that. <laughs> uh, hmm. How long is left of this chapter? That's the question. Okay. New idea. Party game. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I want to save the game. People, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style. <laughs> right. Okay. House rules are: if someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So like normal truth normal or dare. Normal truth or dare, yeah, I was gonna say like <laughs> Yes. So we can like make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents. Okay, course. that's fine. Cool beans. I mean keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but <laughs> Well who does get to go first? Spin well bottle. it's house deals, so Abigail. Truth or dare. 
Mm, you really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I, uh, not cool. <laughs> I. Oh yeah, interrupt. Let's do this again. Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Every time the video gets stuck in an hour, I like to uh, hit stop. Finished. Um, Dylan's Have annoyed. you ever slept <laughs> with anyone? No, That's that was a shitty camp. question, Dylan. <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. Not cool. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um... <laughs> oh, Abby, oh my god, just pick someone. Okay, um, okay. Um... Uh, panic. <laughs> panic. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'd, I'd panic. Ugh. <laughs> ding ding, too late. My turn. Ryan. Truth or dare? Truth or dare? Uh, I assume he would be a truth kind of guy, but let's go dare. Dare. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> can you? And I don't know. I dare you to kiss either Caitlyn. Or Dylan. Wow. Obviously Dylan. I mean, I guess both is off the table. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay. Let's do this. Hmm. Okay. Well, Dylan. Dylan. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. It's like Alan. <laughs> Always happy to please. Good stuff. Woo! Woo. Yeah, I feel like if you can do truth dare like that, you should at least try and like hook up the people who clearly you want to hook up. Alrighty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. Ooh, Caitlin or Jacob? Let's go, Caitlin. Caitlin. What do you say? Truth or dare? Truth. Yeah, truth. Let's okay. See. Mischievous. You have a hookup with Jacob. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. It just did. What did you want to be when you grew up? That's a boring one for truth or dare. So you and Jacob go way back, right? Like since you were kids? Sadly, yes. Lame question, bro. Waste of a turn. You guys ever, uh, <laughs> a business together? When we were freshmen, I made Jacob let me practice French kissing on him. But oh my. it never went any further because he's a terrible kisser. And it was like kissing my brother. Yo. Uh. Still love you, bud. <laughs> okay, my turn. These guys have a weird dynamic. Emma, dare. Oh, of course you're a dare. Emma, that face you was have dangerous. Jacob or oh. Nick. Uh, Why would you give that option? Oh, you're gonna choose Nick. Well, then. You're a dangerous um, lady. Uh, sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. Yeah, she's gonna pick Nick. I choose Nick. So I come in. And let me guess, everyone's gonna get really angry. They all run off into the woods alone, and then they die. Seriously? Yep. And Paul. Oh, no. They're like, yeah, exactly. What about this lady? They're so shitty. Guys! I don't care about that guy as much. Like, they're, they're not together, they're not an item. But you know she likes Nick, so that's really shitty. Thank you, Nick. Hmm. And now he's gonna go unga bunga. I'm angry. He's good. Oh, you bitch. And then walk away. Well, that's one in the woods. You're like kissing my girlfriend, asshole. Uh, you're not really dating, no. It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck True. it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. I thought you were gonna punch him. Jacob. Grow up. 
Hmm. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. No. You should probably go find Abby. No. I don't like that scene at all. Not about that. Not about that at all. So, anybody want to play Parcheesi? Why did you even suggest those? Right. Way to kill the mood. Ooh. Devil's gonna come when the sun come down. Oh, <laughs> this guy gets it. <laughs> Sick of this teenage drama shit. I'ma kill you all now. Shwag. Welcome back. I am, as always, delighted that you're here. Don't think I found any uh, tarot cards. So then, what more has been found? More. You return without any more of my <laughs> cards, yet you return nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? Why? Because your cards are fucking hidden. I can't help you without the cards. To make them easy to them find. Found. I want them returned to me. Seriously, I found Please, one. my friend. Yeah, I get it, lady, but... <laughs> That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. Hmm. I'll see you again. You can count on that. Be careful. And I'm sure I'll have go, no cards. The ravens follow. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. Interesting line. Well, yeah, that's zero tarot cards once again. Um, good stuff. Oh, chapter two completed. Hey. So, that's the quarry chapter two. I uh, hope you're enjoying it. Uh, come back for more. It's a pretty good game so far. I think everyone's going to die. My choices have not been the best, but uh, we'll see. So yeah, uh, I'll leave a link in the description so you can find the game for yourself. And if you like the video, consider liking, subscribing, leaving a comment and all that good stuff because it definitely helps the channel grow. And with that, I hope you're having a lovely day and I hope to see you again sometime soon. Take care. Bye.